Ah, oh, that's a great day. And we're gonna end up our red cactus prickly pear finishing up today. And it's a milestone, we think. It's our 20th show that we've had with almost 5,000 views on YouTube. And uh, stay tuned, thank you. Also, a little info. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. It's very important. Now, live from Pine Top, Arizona, it's that painting show starring the color queen. Hi folks, I'm Beth Zink. Welcome to day 20 of that painting show. Captain John, did you ever think that we would actually do 20 of these shows? <laughs> no, never. I, let's keep going. I know. Let's keep going. This has been a lot of fun, and we've gotten a lot of great response from all of you. So thanks for tuning in and watching us. Today, I promise, I, I promise, I overpromised before, but I promise today I will finish this cactus painting. And, but before that, who is today's lucky duck? Queenie. The lucky duck is Nancy from Scottsdale. <laughs> Nancy, my friend Nancy from Scottsdale. Nancy says, how many of these shows will you do? <laughs> well, um, actually, we have invested in a lot of wigs and uh, not much else, actually. Thank God for Amazon. But... As COVID unfortunately doesn't go away from our lives here in the United States, I think what we're gonna do is just keep on going and going and going as long as uh, you all wanna watch us. So like he said, we've had a lot of views on YouTube and that's that's really cool. And I'm not, a lot of nice positive comments too. Don't feel free by the way to email us or text us or whatever um, if there's something you want to have us do on the show, because I am uh, driven by whatever people want to watch me paint. I can paint anything you want. If you want me to paint a horse, no, please don't want me to paint a horse. But if you want me to paint something different from what I normally do, I'm good with that. I'll give it a try. And um, here we go. This red cactus flower, prickly pear flower, has a center which is called a pistol. The little globe form in the middle of the cactus is called a pistol. That's what a young whippersnapper is called. Oh yeah, really? Okay, well that's, that's the center of the flower. And then all the little tiny stamens that run around it are, will come later. But for now, I just entered that. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of highlight, a little more brightness on these outer leaves. I'm going to kind of get this real bright. Oh, that's looking great. By the way, uh, did you know that all cactuses produce flowers? Well, I thought you so. probably did. Well, I thought so. I mean, I thought I thought all plant don't all plants. That's produce flowers? that's that's the catch right there. Oh, good. Good call. Well, you know, I'm not a botanist or anything, but I sure am crazy about flowers. So. Those are the highlights that I'm going to put on these little pads back in here. Now I'm going to add a little bit more highlight to Still love your hair, by the way. <laughs> can you take it off your head? I can, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm getting kind of tired of being a redhead. I have so many wigs. I think I'm going to go back to my Maybe my Atomic Blonde or Bob Ross or 
one of the others. I like mixing it up. But I do love wearing the wigs because I think it helps people uh, enjoy the show, which is what it's all about. Next, I'm going to let this dry before I put the uh, pistols and stamens in. I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit bright center here first. And this is cadmium yellow. And it's a white. This is kind of like a little pumpkin in the center. It has ridges. If you see them in person, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go around the edges of the prickly pear pads and add a little bit of a burnt sienna edge. And I'm also going to put a little burnt sienna on the buttons on the right side of each button. The light's coming from this side, so I'm putting a little bit of burnt sienna, which is kind of a rusty brown, on each of these. And I'm going to add that little edge here because there are spines that come out from the contour of the prickly pear pad. I'm also going to take a little bit of cad yellow and white <clears throat> and bring out just a little bit of this linear detail on each of these. little leaves that come out. All right, What's, here's a real easy question. What is the largest wren in the U.S.? Cactus wren? You got it. <laughs> that was a setup. It was a trick because also it is the state bird of Arizona. Oh, I knew that. Easy enough. You know, I saw some uh, I saw some wren, no, no, maybe they were sparrows today. But yeah, cactus wren is pretty big, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They're the ones that make their homes in the... Saguaro. Saguaros. Plus the uh, owls like to do that too. You know, when you live out in a harsh environment like the desert, you have to find a way to make things work, not just as a human being, actually, but um, any kind of animal or bird, everybody has to adapt. You know, we turn on air conditioning, they figure out ways to make things work in their, in their environment. Just finishing up the little edging on the the petals here. So liner brush, start at the center and pull outward. Very, hold your brush as lightly as you can and angle the same direction. The, the sun, everything grows toward the sun. You ever notice that? All plants grow toward the sun. So what we're doing here is we're putting in the spines on the cactus pads. And they're all in the ge same general direction. So when you're when you're doing the spines, make sure they don't have to all go exactly the same, but in the general direction. How are we doing on time, Captain? You know, you're looking really good. But uh, you can always pick it up. All right. Last thing. Last thing. You're looking good though right now. Oh, good. We got the pistol, now the stamens. These are like little filaments, little tiny, tiny, um, gosh, little threads, little thread forms that could blow over in the wind and they encircle the pistol in the middle. And they come all the way 
around it. So some are in front. So I have to put some in the front. Some in the back. You have to show that this, this flower has a front row, a center, and a back row. And that's creating that illusion that we're trying to create. <clears throat> Sophie has entered into the video once again. <laughs> Sophie is our, if you don't know Sophie, Sophie is our 12 year old pug who is an amazing dog and uh, she's always with us. Now and then has a sneeze or a cough or whatever, grunt. Well, this is pretty good. By the way, once you've completed this, what's your next show? You know, I'm thinking about doing some real quick studies, uh, quick draw, if you will. Maybe, maybe take a simple object, just put it up here, and I'll just paint it as fast as I can, like during this period of time. One show, five minutes, eight minutes, just go boom, 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 test myself. Great. And uh, be more exciting, maybe, than going over three or four shows. We'll mix it up. You know, we'll mix it up. So, anyway, I think this is pretty darn close to where this is. And enough uh, for, for our purposes. Remember that all these paintings that I do on this show, by the way, I forgot to, I think I've mentioned it sometime, but everything that we do during our, um, our, that painting show videos, all the paintings that are completed are going to be donated to the um, Foothills Food Bank in Carefree Cave Creek area. I've been involved with that for several years and um, I'd love to um, support that in different ways. So, so I could say, well, this is day 18 to whatever was on the show. If you happen to watch it here, you can buy the actual painting. So the barn painting, the desert landscape, now this one, and whatever else I do, um, will be donated uh, to the benefit of our local charity, which is um, important. Important. Our show, or excuse me, our show, our, 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 our sale today is not actually a sale. We have this oldies but goodies thing going on now, where some of the paintings that I've done in recent years, I put on sale anywhere from 33 to up to 50% off. And it's been a good promotion so far. We've, we've sold some paintings and, and here is this week's, which is not unlike the one that we've been doing. This painting is called Beauteous. It's 30 by 30. Its original value is Thirty-one fifty. We're gonna sell it for twenty-one. Uh, if you're interested in it, email me, text me, call me, whatever. You have my information. You know I'm easy to find. Beth at BethZinkArt.com or just Google me. I'm I'm there. So this is a great painting. It needs a new home, and uh, we hope that someone will decide to buy it. Last but not least is our pearls of wisdom and these are from a lady that i saw on um gosh cbs sunday morning i believe her name is vanilla bean she's over 100 years old she turned 100 in 2019. she said love many trust few learn to paddle your own canoe <laughs> i thought that was great so thanks for joining us be safe stay well and uh, see you next time.